185. Let's get to another random selection, which is The Passion of the Christ from 2004. It's directed by Mel Gibson, stars Jim Caviezel, Monica Bellucci, Maya Morgenstern, Christo Jivkov, and a few others. And the synopsis is, depicts the final 12 hours in the life of Jesus of Nazareth on the day of his crucifixion in Jerusalem. So anyone familiar with this one knows that it has quite the controversial reputation. It, as far as I could find out, is still the biggest independent film of all time, based on the rankings and records that I looked at. Could be wrong there, but it's at least one of the top grossing films in that way. I only got around to seeing it in the last year or so for the first time, have been meaning to watch it for a while, just never did. And I'm not a religious person myself, but I still find many aspects of religion interesting, and I like the historical context, the societal impact. So usually when it comes to religious films like this, I will watch them, at least give them a try because there's something about it that piques my interest, even though I don't fully indulge in the faith itself. I've kept up with Mel Gibson's directed works over the years. I've seen, I think, all the films that he's directed, and I know that he is, next year, I think, there is the Passion of the Christ Resurrection, part one, coming out, and then there's going to be part two, I guess, a year or two later. So this story is coming back in one way or the other. And I'm curious about that, more so just because of the historical epic aspect, but I will definitely check it out at some point and cover it on the show. But for this movie itself, I haven't really talked to many people over the years who have seen it. Like I know a lot of people have various opinions on it, but I haven't really had a lot of in-person conversations. And so I don't know how a lot of people feel about it now in that way. So this is just talking about it blind. I like the movie all right, but there are some big issues. I think, for one, visually, I don't think the movie looks very good. Even from the opening scene, I think it looks, I hate to say it, I think it looks terrible. There's just something about the early 2000s aesthetic that does not benefit this movie at all. And I don't know the exact reason for that, but considering it had a $30 million budget and a decent production behind it, I still, maybe it looked better at the time, but I think it's one that visually does not hold up very well. And while the crucifixion sequence, which is most of the movie in the second half, I think that, for the most part, is effective. It takes a long time to get there. And while I know that you don't want to just present this story with no context, no matter who is watching it, you want to have some backstory, you want to have some world building and all that, I still find that that pacing, that overall story, feels pretty dry. And it's not that I want to get to the the violence of it all. Like, I'm not bored with normal conversations in this era. I'm just finding purely from a direction, a writing standpoint, it's not that interesting. It's not that engaging. So I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but it does feel a lot longer than it is, especially in that first hour or so. Performance-wise, pretty good. I like Monica Bellucci a lot. I guess the production design and the costume design is good. I will say that, even though I don't like the movie aesthetically, like from a cinematography lighting standpoint, it does look good in the production part of it. Now, getting to the most controversial part, obviously, which is how violent this movie is in depicting the crucifixion. I don't have an issue especially considering I'm not attached to this story or I'm an expert on anything in this way or on this subject. But 
knowing Mel Gibson as a director does hurt how the violence is depicted because maybe it's crazy to say, but I think it's true. He has an obsession with violence. And it's not a bad thing if you want to portray violence or extreme violence on screen, but there's a point with how you choose to present that violence, in what context, in what story, and time after time after time after time that makes me feel like, is this Mel Gibson indulging in his seemingly violence bloody obsession? Or is it him saying, I want people to know the visceral nature of this crucifixion? And so that was a constant battle for me internally while I was watching this because it is so long and it's so brutal. So I think that that, I mean, overall, I think it still worked more than it didn't. Also, one thing that this movie did, which I'm glad that they chose to do it in this way, is it is entirely in Aramaic, Latin, Hebrew. So it's not like in English, but people are talking in accents. And on that, I read that Mel Gibson, he originally wanted this movie to not even have subtitles, which I think, in theory, I appreciate that. But I think this being a mass-released commercial movie, that would have been a horrendous mistake. I don't mean that in a, you know, giving respect to the story. I think from an audience standpoint, that would have catapulted this movie out of its now success. I think it would have plummeted that box office and would not have the same reputation or following that it seems to have. So I'm really glad that the producers, the studio, whoever made him add subtitles, because that is something. I don't speak those languages, you know, but even so, it's helpful for the context of the story and who you're following to know what they're saying. It shouldn't just be a visual story. I think there's a lot of discussions and backstory that most people would probably need to know in order to get the desired effect of the movie. So that was an interesting little factoid that I discovered. I will be curious to see where they take this story next in the Resurrection film. And I feel like Also on that, it is worth watching regardless of what religion or lack thereof that you hold personally. I think it's worth a watch. There definitely are a lot of interesting, shocking, powerful moments. Try it out. You just got to be in the right mood. It's obviously a very grim viewing, so you really got to sit with it. That is a Light four out of five.